Hi there, and welcome back to another Warlock's Tale battle report. We've got another battle report with uh, Vermin Swarm versus Dread Elves at ninth age. So again, 4,500 points. Uh, slightly different list from both of us, um, and I hope you enjoy. So we'll get straight into deployment. So again, it's my friend James, and he has a lot of Yima stuff. So that gives him Swift Stride and Strider. Uh, oh no, plus one move and Strider. So over on the right we have some Acolytes, as was well Warlocks. They are Cult of Yuma, which gives them a Breath Weapon spell and a, what was Doombot spell, a high to cast but very powerful magic missile. We then have a Cold One Chariot without a character in it. Uh, behind that is the Gladiator Yumas. So these guys have Weapon Master. They can choose a Great Weapon, a Flail, a spear, helm up and shield. Um, so yeah, really versatile unit. Um, they've got the banner of rending, so um, arm piercing one, and they are movement six and scoring. So yeah, pretty powerful unit there. Uh, behind that is a Charybdis, as was. Uh, so strength seven again, D3 wounds, pretty tasty. So yeah, one to keep an eye out on. Next to that is, I think, 16 crossbows with shields. Great unit. It fights, it shoots, it's a bunker. It's, it's all things to all men. It's great. So, <clears throat> again, you miss their movement six um, and strider. Over on the right uh, with the um, Witch Elf BSB. A uh, Witch Elf standard model is a BSB. Has the great weapon and armor, which... Um, racks up to being um, one up pretty quickly or two up pretty quickly. Uh, on the left of that unit is a Sorceress. Uh, Wizard Master has the Focus Familiar, um, so it adds an extra six inches spell but also allows you to uh, cast direct damage um, while you're in combat, so you can cast as if you're at the Familiar. Um, she's on Occultism and the spells will be up now, so it turns out we're both on occultism, so uh, the warlocks occultism spells, um, the wizards occultism spells, um, and I'm on occultism too. Then we've got uh, one, two, three bolt throws, just giving them great visibility, not blocking line of sight at all. Uh, ten dark riders um, with crossbows. Then I think fifteen the corsairs uh, with hand bows. Represented next is a Medusa, uh, so yeah, it's got a weird sort of stat line. It's not amazing, but it's 130 points of uh, movement, decent chaff. Then there's 10 crossbows, and then there's another cold on chariot. So you can see on from this shot there is a gold coin that is one of the markers which we have to hold with the scoring unit at the end of the game. There's another one just behind the fence, uh, which we'll probably see in my deployment. So we'll start on my left. So we've got some giant rats, 10 giant rats, awesome chaff, fast, cheap, perfect chaff. Uh, the skirmishing um, halberdiers, uh, Berman Guard, are uh, globadiers. So there's eight of those guys. Behind those is a unit of um, clam rats, rat at arms. Uh, then there is a unit of 20 Plague Brotherhood, so um, yeah, pretty choppy. And at the front on the left is a Rat Ogre. I experimented with this guy as a bit of a can opener, an anti uh, cavalry option. So it's a chieftain riding a Rat Ogre. He's got the armor which kicks out toxic attacks. Um, and yeah. He's an interesting one. He's, he's not cheap, but he is interesting. So uh, next to that is two rat swarms, and then behind the impassable terrain uh, is on the right is an abomination. Behind that is my plus one strength and heavy armor, so thunderer, uh, vermin demon. So we've given him a run out. So. He is a level four again. Obviously, on occultism, you can only take occultism. But I, I like occultism. I think if I had several options, I'd be choosing occultism. It works really well with the big single model. As you can see, he got the extra ward save, which is great. 
he got um, the bubble spell, which he can gain back wounds, which obviously works really well with a monster, or potentially works really well with a monster. Um, and so, yeah, he, he's a good playing piece. I, I like him. I think he could he could stick around. That said, he is over 900 points as a uh, wizard master and with the extra spells. So, yeah, he's not cheap. Anyway, behind that is the Playclaw Catapult, uh, then some more Rest Arms with my BSB. This unit has a champion, uh, so it's 20 of those, but BSB bumps up to 21. Then there's 25 uh, Birmingham Guard, they've got the Armor Piercing Banner 2. Uh, next to that is two Rat Swarms, uh, a further 8 Globadiers, uh, the Warp Lightning Cannon, and the um, spawned looking thing is another abomination, so it's on the right size base, and then some more um, giant rats. So, yeah, in hindsight, I wouldn't have spread out my deployment quite as much as this, but um, yeah. So, James rolled to go second, and uh, he dropped quite a lot of his army, so he was almost guaranteed to go second. Um, so I've got to push forward at some point, but I'm reluctant to go all out because those Yima sisters will just chew through my rats so fast because they can also, that's what I missed out, paired weapons, so they can they can kick out a lot of attacks, they've got a lot of ranks, they've got decent amounts of dead fast, and they've got four up ward in combat, so they're going to stick around, so I was reluctant to let them get involved with my rats. I was very keen to push an abomination in there. I presumed it would survive around, and then between its attacks and its thunder stomps, it just makes a mess. So, yeah, um, I think I need to chew through those guys fairly quickly. So I'm keen to sort of um, hold back a little bit. But yeah, my abomination on the right shot forward. I rolled really high, um, and I think it was like 15 as a max of 18, um, which kind of yeah, I wasn't too happy about because uh, it meant he could kind of deal with him in isolation. Obviously, I want them to keep going as a as a unit, um, but it it obviously put James on the back foot, and uh, yeah, it was interesting. So yeah, it was it was good fun. And then unfortunately, the one on the left didn't go as far forward as I'd like, so um, just moved the Vermin Demon up behind him for some cover because they've both got towering presence. Um, yeah, move forward a little bit on the right. Not a huge amount, though. I'm kind of biding my time. Um, the Warp Lightning Cannon missed fired and spun around. Play called Catapult missed. And I think the um, two spells I tried to cast was to increase my ward save just in case for some reason I ended up without cover, um, which James let go. And then the Remains in Play spell which would have allowed me to re-roll um, the spell and um, casting attempt. So he got rid of that one. So I can understand that move. So that was a good play. Um, so, yeah, on to my turn. And Charybdis decided to charge into the um, spawn. And the chariot decided to charge, very long charge, into one of the rat units. The chariot fell charge. And the Charybdis made it in. Oh, sorry, I was charging to the giant rat units. Scarily enough, uh, the Warlock shot forward. Um, I'd totally forgotten about their breast weapons, but I don't know what I was thinking, um, letting them sculpt through that far. Um, the plus one movement surprised me on the already movement nine Warlock. So movement 20 Strider, so they just shot through that woods, no problem at all. Um, yeah, they're looking at my um, club of ears and uh, probably going to make a bit of a mess, uh, all things being equal. So the Corsairs push forward, um, the Dark Riders jump forward as well again, movement 20, so they've got heaps of movement to play with, uh, snuck out of line of sight of the Plague Vermin for obvious reasons, and they're going to shoot at the um, uh, club of ears. This point was just hilarious for me. James cast with his main wizard. I think I dispelled it. I completely forgot they had the breath weapon uh, with toxic attacks. So it was going to do quite a lot of damage to my Globadiers. Um, at which point he 
on two dice, miscasts, kills two um, of his unit. They then panic and run off the board. Absolutely hilarious. I'm not sure what the chances of that are, but obviously they get a four up ward against the wings from the miscast, um, and they still manage to do that. Leadership eight, I presume, at least, if not. Or, or even nine, and yet still off the board turn one. So that's it was one of those we're like discussing before the game how we um, wanted to see how they went and were really interested in the unit, and then boom, they have gone before anyone even moves. So or anything significant happened. So yeah, pretty funny. Don't know if you saw my previous battle report, but we were both quite shocked that the A bomb one rounded the um, Crypdis, and again. Um, He's chasing him towards his dead pile. He went in. The um, A bomb did a couple of wounds. The Cryptus did nothing. Uh, I regen two and lost by two. Uh, he was within BSB range, but he he broke and I missed running him down by one inch. So yeah, uh, James was pretty fortunate to get away, I guess, but against the random move, but very unlucky to have to take a break test at all. So, yeah, interesting one there. So I basically, at this point, just reformed, contacted him, and killed him. That allowed me to reform again to give my front to the um, Yuma girls. I presumed he wouldn't be keen to charge, just because, I mean, we, we're both uh, well aware that I'm kind of trying to throw away we're not trying to throw away, but trying to grind him out with the A-bombs and just do quite a lot of damage. I pushed forward um, with the um, A-bomb, which in, particular, in the previous round taken uh, was left on one wound. So I did use him as cover with my Vermin Demon. Um, yeah, but I wasn't convinced that this was a brilliant move. Um, I looked at Yima gladiators and thought there was no way they could see me and so um, and then they couldn't charge round the um, chariot I completely stuffed up here I just forgot to move the gladiators I didn't shoot my play call catapult um, which I just I just almost forgot about the left flank I did charge the ratoga out into the corsairs which I thought he should do a number on. I thought it'd take him two or three turns. Um, he might throw the Medusa in to try and help him out, but I was pretty confident in the guy um, that he'd do that. But yet, yeah, just stupid, just not to um, think of moving the Globideers. I think even if I fail my march test, I can almost get out of um, charge. I can certainly give myself a flea through the um, plague months and then take the charge with the plague months. Rather. Turns out the Yima Gladiators could see the. Um, plague vermin demon uh, so it was relatively short charge he had to charge the chariot out of the way and actually make the charge so he did that into the vermin guard and made both charges um, he just moved down the hill with the crossbowmen uh, to shoot at the vermin demon um, so yeah I was a little bit nervous about this. Obviously, the Vermin Demon is pretty choppy, but he doesn't like ranked up units. So um, I was kind of hoping that my um, my Thunderstorm was going to keep me in the game here. So yeah, it's I was I I underrated the Chariot. I thought that I would do a couple of wounds to it. Um, so the Dark Riders charged the Globideers. They threw a couple of globes because they cooked fire, killed a couple with that, I think they even killed one in combat, but were well and truly broken, I think they were minus three, so double ones almost, if not definitely. They ran back, hit the Rattled Arms, went off the table, that caused the Rattled Arms to panic, and they went off the table as well. The Giant Rats panicked and stayed on the board, but yeah, big loss. Two, a Globideer and a um, clan rat unit. Um, this means my only scoring unit on this side of the board is my plague brotherhood, um, which is quite a big problem. So the chariot took quite a few ranks off the uh, Birmingham guard. 
Uh, he actually rolled really poorly for his impact hits, but he was never going to break the steadfast. Um, I think I chipped one wound off. He took one wound for going over the roar, and they held on the eight leadership from the uh, Berman Demon. James chose to use his flails against the Berman Demon, so he chipped a couple of wounds with his strength five. Um, I did quite a few wounds, but it was quite poor thunderstorm. Um, so I think I was on a minus two break test and I held. I was on a reroll from the BSB, uh, but I didn't need it. Um, I not held his uh, demonic instability, but I didn't take any additional wounds. But he's left on two wounds at this point, which is obviously makes me nervous. He shot off the A bomb pretty easily. I think he was looking at all three uh, repeated bolt throws and the crossbowman. So I think he got to shoot into the rat team, the rats as well so yeah it made quite a mess uh the rat ogre with its chieftain rider chipped off most of the unit um but left them steadfast which they held um uh then the a bomb which i've changed the model uh managed to go in the back of the yima gladiators uh the at this point it got silly the Rat Ogre with four attacks, the Rider with three attacks and a stomp uh, managed to do nothing to the unit of Corsairs. Uh, they had a standard, he broke on his leadership five and they ran him down even though he was Swiss stride and um, ended up just short of the um, Rats, uh, the Plague Rats. So. They'll get to stun and shoot when I charge, so a pretty perfect result for James there. The giant rats did manage to rally, so it was good. Then the counter charge happened, so at this point I managed to put the clan rats with the BSB, the, uh, the A-bomb in the back, and I managed to regain a wound with casting um, Pentagram of Pain, which chipped off a couple of um, wounds from... Uh, most of the units in the area actually. I think the Glomadiers got away with it, which was brilliant. I rolled a one, the number of hits and a one to wound, so they were the unit you know, I was really worried about decimating. I did chip a unit a wound off the A bomb, which was a bit unfortunate, but yeah, um that was that was great just to get the wound back and I just put a couple of wounds on the rat swarm, so that was fine. Yeah, made a massive dent into the gladiators, absolutely destroyed them didn't take any wounds in return and yeah they were badly badly broken so pursued with the clan rats and the um, the a-bomb and caught them pretty easily uh, so that was good so yeah the rats got to overrun into the BSB um, which I wasn't confident that they'd win I thought I might lose my BSB but <clears throat> I think grinding that unit out is really key. It allows me domination in the magic phase, which would be great. So, yeah, even if they can hold, I'd be reasonably happy. So, yeah, we'll see how they go. So, we beat the Corsairs, failed to run them down, which is a big problem. That extra one inch again just evades me. It means I'm going to get the Medusa in the flank, but... The Plague Brotherhood still kick out a lot of attacks. They're frenzied, pair of weapons and hatred, so I'm happy that the Medusa goes in the flank. I don't know a lot about it, but I figure things should be okay. Um, two remaining Dark Riders, they get, uh, the remaining Dark Riders get smashed by the Plague for Catapult, uh, pass their panic test, and then move in to shoot it. Um, again, I kind of mentioned to James that this thing fights, and he kind of Shrugged his shoulders. I mean, the artillery naturally doesn't fight. Of course, it doesn't. It gets hit automatically. It's going to get smashed. So, yeah, I was okay with that. Uh, then the Medusa charged me in the flank. Oh, in the background is uh, the chariot, which does nothing all day at game due to, I think, failed three nine um, stupidity tests. Uh, the crossbowmen were just loitering at the background, just staying out of the way and hoping to sprint forward at movement six with Yima to gain that um, objective marker. So, so they were just loitering that way. But um, so, charge flank and a wound. 
I forgot about distracting. James had told me on the juicer. I failed to hit and wound, so um, we break and get run down by the Medusa. My rats get absolutely munched by the um, by the um, crossbowmen and break. So that was slightly unfortunate. Uh, he has got the Vermin Demon and the A bomb looking at him, but. That's the BSB on the corner. He's got a great weapon. I'm not very keen to put my Vermin Demon in there. So, yeah, um, it's not as obvious a problem as it seems. But then he rolls a double one to pursue after my um, clan rats, and uh, it's all sorts of trouble. The uh, Vermin Guard were about to kill the um, chariot heroically after failing miserably to wound it. I was a bit concerned. And then the Globideer stepped up, shot into combat, took it off. I think they might kill one of their colleague vermin guard, but yeah, it's pretty happy with the result of that. Um, so yeah, the plague knights disappear, and then I managed to get a. So this is a big, big swing for me. So the vermin guard charge in. They're still within six of the marker. The A bomb makes its charge in the back. Just to rub salt in the wounds, I rolled really low. Um, so I think if James had even rolled an average pursuit after my um, BSB and clan rats, uh, he, I would have been forced to put the vermin demon in and, and risk my general and my caster. But as it was, yeah, just the A bomb. It, I think he was always going to make it. I think on three dice random move, it was I think five he needed. So I think I rolled a seven, but. Yeah, made it in pretty safely, so it's all good. Uh, and then it's a really open board at this point. So um, the Medusa's kind of hanging around in the middle. I've got some chaffy and it's sort of hiding out of the way. Uh, the Globideers are there to shoot into combat. Oh, and some giant rats have snuck around and charged one of the... Um, one of the um, artillery pieces, the, the bolt throws, but he's still got two hanging out there to shoot so James is looking pretty upset at this point but I think he's still in it um, the A-bomb's probably going to get shot at, it's got four wounds left um, I, I'm not going to risk my Vermin Demon at this stage it's just going to hide but um, yeah I think it's tighter than James but yeah we go in, we decimated the unit, I think the whole unit was wiped out so the vermin guard wiped out the crossbowman and then the a bomb just destroyed the two characters um unfortunately the rats then lost combat against the um bolt thrower and broke so that then left three bolt throwers to shoot which is a significant problem the medusa charged into the vermin guard after its heroics against the um plague brotherhood and it got killed. The <laughs> this amused me a lot. The two uh, riders went in, did one wound, and then the play claw catapult has hatred and it has frenzy. So it's got three crew. It kicks out six attacks. They all hit, and then I killed two. Three wounds done. Two failed saves. I killed both of them. So didn't even have to take a break test on lead ship terrible. So it was good. Um, the Vermin Guard killed the Medusa actually quite comfortably. Um, the Globideers were there to fire into combat if needs be. Then the Bolt Throwers took off the A bomb. So, yeah, it was a bit unfortunate at this point. Um, James pushed forward to take the objective and to shoot at the Vermin Guard. And he managed to get them down to four. I think if he got them down to two, I might have been out of six inches of the objective and he would have held that. And it ended up an absolute bloodbath again. So um, it seems whatever we do, it's a swingy game and it's a bloodbath. But again, a hugely entertaining game. Weird dice rolls were just incredible. The... Um, the play, uh, the Coblin Chariot failing stupidity. I think if it had swung in and, and come into the um, Plague Brotherhood, it's probably how things would have ended up. That the Plague Brotherhood and the um, 
the um, the the Rattoga rider would have got destroyed. Silly play, just not triple checking the um, view of the Yima gladiators into my Bermudema. From where I stood, it looked definitely not with a laser and an arc of this. It was um, in to get into move my globideers really cost me. That was two vital units on that that flank. So the play claw catapult hit once and decimated a unit of uh, dark riders. So that was awesome. The Berman guard were good but not great. I'm kind of inclined to switch them down to uh, wrap at arms with spears. Um, I think they'd be a pretty good unit. I really liked the Vermin Demon. He's been widely derided. Obviously, uh, the equivalent in 8th edition was just a laughing stock. Um, but with heavy armor, strength 7, is, he's good. He's got 3 up, 5 up. With the occultism, level 4 or 4 spells, he's really good. If I ran him again, I'd be tempted to drop out Wizard Master. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, come back to the channel because I'm thinking I need to make myself a shooty stand in the corner. Uh, Vermin Swarm Army, but for a little while I'll be running this and obviously getting a few bits painted as we go along. But yeah, really fun army to use the Vermin Swarm. Um, not quite as crazy as 8th edition Skaven were, but and probably not as um, indestructible as the Netlist Build List was. Uh, a little bit more fragile, a little bit more dicey with panic tests and such, but um, yeah, a good. Good solid army though. Mm, I'm, I'm enjoying them a lot more than I think Warriors are a top tier list, but the stuff I've got paid to for Warriors isn't. So, yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed the battle report. Um, it seemed fairly pacey going through it, but it was a fairly pacey game. Everything that happened on the money, it was it was a good game again. It's such a. Anyone think about getting into Ninth Age, um, you've got to do it. It's, just a phenomenal game, just a phenomenal job that's been done by the guys involved. Anyway, uh, get in touch in the usual channels, uh, email, Twitter, uh, thewarlockstower.com, and let me know what you think, let me know any suggestions for the future. Thanks, bye.